In this lecture, we are going to begin our look at integration testing. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. We'll start with some simple integration testing with Mocha. So I'm going to kill my server temporarily and join me in our project folder. Here we're going to install Mocha with npm install Mocha to install the package into our project. Mocha is going to help us with testing. It is a popular testing framework for Node.js. All right, now that we have installed Mocha, let's go ahead and create a sample file for some basic testing with Mocha. So I'm going to create a new file with touch. If you are on Windows, you should use Notepad instead. So I will use touch, the command for creating a new file. I'll create it inside of test slash basic test dot js. So this means I'm creating it inside of a new subfolder as well. You may get no such file or directory. In that case, just make the directory first with make dir test. Then you have to use touch test slash basic test slash js. So now you can see you can cd into the test subfolder and you have basic test dot js. So join me inside of basic test. We're going to write our first simple test with Mocha. Here I am in my code editor in basic test.js. Now by default, this is just a blank file. So the first thing we're going to do is require the built-in assert module. And that is for creating assertions and using the assert package. Next, we're going to describe our container for our tests. So we'll start off by creating a structure for our test. And let's call this basic test. Next, we'll have a function inside of our basic test. So this is our structure. In there, we'll use describe again to describe a specific test. So let's do a multiplication test. Again, we open up the function. So this is the syntax for making an integration test. We're just going to test simple multiplication first. All right, so here we are then going to add assertions into it blocks, which are specific test cases. So you, you use the keyword it to create a new test block. Then here you can pass in the actual container for this block. So you can put in something like should equal 15 when 5 is multiplied by 3. Because we know that 5 times 3 is 15. So this is a test to check that this actually is the case. So here you have your it, your test clause. Then you use a function again to specify that you want something to happen afterward. Make sure you close the function. And inside of here, you are going to perform a test. So we're going to do 5 times 3. All right, and we're going to store that as our result. Now, we expect this to be 15. If we get something other than 15, then we know that our test failed and we have something that we need to fix. So how do we assert that we got a correct answer? Well, we use the assert package via that variable. And we're going to use the equal function. So assert has a lot of functions, like equal and not equal. In this case, we're using the simple equal one just to assert that a variable equals something. So we want to assert that our result equals 15. Because if our result does not equal 15, that means something went wrong here during our test. Now, in this case, this is a, this is a very basic test. We can see that 5 times 3 will be 15, we presume. But you can put in a much more complicated test here, like to test something with your API. And we'll show you how to do that in the next lecture. All right, so here we can now immediately test out our file here, basic test. Let's go back into our terminal. 
here back in our terminal, we're going to use npx mocha and then grab our file, which was the basic test.js. So we have to use npx because we didn't install Mocha globally. We just installed it into our project folder, which means we can use it anywhere in our project folder, but we have to use npx first. We could also add Mocha as a script inside of our package.json file. So here we are using npx mocha to run the file basic test.js with mocha. Here we see our structure name basic test. We had a substructure multiplication and we had one test case that was called should equal 15 when 5 is multiplied by 3. You want to be descriptive in your the names of the test cases because otherwise if you just put in a test case called multiply you're not going to see exactly what passed and what failed. You're just going to get a generic name. So it's much more convenient for you, the developer, to put in a very descriptive name here for your test cases, like should equal 15 when 5 is multiplied by 3. We have a check mark and we see one passing in 8 milliseconds. So this tells us that our test passed. Let's write another test case and let's have it fail. So here I am going to open my code editor again, go back into basic test.js, and I can add in another substructure here inside of my basic test. All I have to do is go into the substructure, such as basic test, and use another describe for another substructure, and I'm going to call this divide. And here I'm going to open up my function and let's end it with a semicolon. And here we'll put in one test case. We'll use it to start the test case. And let's call this that we should not equal 16 when 5 is, multi is divided. Let's do when 15. Okay, we're doing divide now. So let's do should not equal 2 when 15 is divided by 5. So we know that 15 divided by 5 is 3, so it should not be 2. This is a bit of a backwards test case, but it's just to show you that there's a lot of different test cases you can have. And typically, if you want to test every single function in your file, in your project, at least with one test case, preferably more, if you are indeed going to be following integration testing, which many companies do. All right, so we have it should not equal 2 when 15 is divided by 5. So how do we write this? Well, we have a var value, which is going to be something like 2. We have a var result, which is 15 divided by 5. Then we want to assert with the assert package, and we can use not equal this time. Here we can assert that here we have our result and it should not equal the value. Okay, so this test case would actually pass. We can save this, we can go back into our terminal and run npx mocha basic test.js again and the test passed because 15 divided by 5 is 3, it's not 2. But we could force this to fail. We could change this to 3 and then we We'll change the name as well to should not equal 3 when 15 is divided by 5. So then we can go back to our terminal and run npx mocha basic test.js again. And this time we get a fail. Okay, we have one passing but one failing. That's because here we got a 3 when we said that we should not get a 3. So we said should not equal 3 when 15 is divided by 5. But 15 divided by 5 is 3, so that's why we got a failing test. So we get an assertion error that 3 is not equal to 3 is the expected versus actual, that 3 is equal to 3. So if you get a failing test, you have to go into your code and fix either the test or likely your actual project. So here I would change this to, let's see, does not equal 4, again, to just have it pass. Then we can go back to our terminal and we can run our test again. Now this is just a basic example of testing where your actual test is right here in the in the actual test 
case directly, but typically you would actually perform some kind of action, for example, interacting with your API, and then you would test what the API sends you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership, where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.